Hey folks, welcome to uh, Gordo's Steam Corner. Um, what we have here is a gas-fired uh, slant fin galaxy. I think it's probably one of the larger ones that they make. That's a, the um, GXH300. Um, it's got uh, one two and a half inch outlet, so they uh, that's probably this is probably almost too big for um, what really is is uh, should be installed here. There probably should be another outlet, or at least make that three inches. But uh, this is what's here, so we got to deal with it. Um, it's installed on a reasonable header. Um, and this is a two-pipe system, uh, older 1920s uh, Hoffman style system with Hoffman number sevens and uh, Haynes uh, valves on there. And uh, there's your dry return. There's the steam main. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, the steam main going this way, and the steam main going this way, and the uh, dry return, and. Uh, there's a Gorton that we added on the end of the dry return. Any uh, return traps and uh, um, stuff for the old coal system uh, long since uh, gone, if they were ever here. You can sort of see the footprint of where the old uh, coal-fired unit was. I'm standing on a platform built by others long ago to... Uh, uh, make this a less dangerous pit and that's pretty much the only drain on the system um, the customer was uh, concerned about uh, increasing amounts of uh, water hammer uh, we worked on this thing over the years and took care of a few issues here and there but uh, usually when that occurs it's either the water level is too high um, or uh, we've got dirty water. Um, as you can see, it's got a McDonald Miller number 67. We've piped it in over the years to uh, help uh, maintain it. Uh, usually, we pipe it in so that we can take this plug out and uh, tickle the uh, float to see if it's working if it ever becomes stuck and we we piped in a uh, vapor stat there I think you can catch a glimpse of the word vapor there we go vapor stat on there it's one of the non-mercury type which is dubious but it appears to work um, this is where the 30 pound gauge would normally go I've removed it And we blow into here to make sure that the pigtail is clear. And we've added a low pressure gauge so that we can determine what pressures the system really operates at. The VXT was added by others probably sometime around 2010. Um, it was probably Unimatch to begin with and um, they've mounted it um, so that it's a little less convenient um, because of the directionality of the uh, valve and the solenoid valve in the back and it seems like uh, folks don't seem to realize that thermostat wire can come in other stuff other than two wire so they had to add an extra wire to make that work uh, let's see the answer is the date code there and uh, it's less than ideal one of the peculiarities of the slant fin galaxy is the uh, skimmer tap which um, usually is installed sort of as almost as a or at least Piped in is almost as an afterthought. I've removed some of the piping so I can get at it finally. Let's see if we can get a close-up of the... Yeah, you can see that's uh, 
pretty well clogged. Um, this is the pink pipe dope that Slant Tin loves and it hardens into this crustiness which is difficult to remove um, once you once it's baked on. Fortunately, because this is June and not February, this came apart reasonably well using these uh, narrow jawed um, uh, I think it was made by Channel Lock and I was able to grab that on there and, and really um, get it out without breaking but of course if this was February I probably would have broken um, so right now we're allowing this boiler to cool we're gonna I'm gonna see if I can put that back together uh, so that it can be taken apart and cleaned a lot easier and um, would have been nice if the previous installer had installed a drain on this um, wet return here so there's a lot of potentially contaminated water that's trapped in here and I'm not going to go there right now I'm just going to leave that alone for now so this is sort of a uh, oh yeah and of course we've added our long ago we added this and um, this was clogged when I got here but it, it took 30 seconds to clear um, just by sticking the rod up this here and, and, and cleaning it out and now this is clear again so no problem there um, I think also we downfired this uh, guy to, to control it because uh, there's just, just too much energy being pumped into this boiler uh, to adequately uh, uh, get dry steam out of it and uh, that may be part of the issue um, there's only so much we can do with what what's here this is why I go through all the steps that I do when I install these um, uh, Gal slant pen galaxies because I've, I'm confronted by other people's uh, shortcuts and I try not to do that uh, to other people moving forward so I want to thank you again I hope this was uh, helpful and uh, please leave your comments below, questions, comments, concerns, and I'll try to get, uh, do my best to answer them. And uh, be well and stay safe.